All right, so we left off with the exhaust issue. So today we're gonna be fixing the exhaust issue. It's actually the same day. And your boy got a Skunk 2 exhaust that I'm gonna have to modify. Just got it not too long ago. Skunk 2. Yeah, because if we ran it with the exhaust, it would pop, a, pop the bag ASAP. It would rub right against it. So he's gonna tack weld it real quick just to get it on the right position. And then once he has the correct position, that's when he'll do the full thing. I'm trying to get you guys to see. So basically what he did, he flipped it so that way the exhaust is not going towards it, it's going away from it. So if you have an 8th gen, you already know these problems. I'm pretty sure the 9th gens have these problems too. But uh... This exhaust that I have is a Skunk 2 uh, 70 millimeter, so it's pretty wide. If you have OEM, because uh, my last Civic I had an OEM one, um, stock exhaust, I didn't have this issue. I was able to bag the car and just heat wrap it, and then I was good. Nice one right there. It's got a little gap at the top, but not that bad. Chill that in. Yeah. Right, so it's gonna have a little bit of a slant to the muffler. Like just going upwards? No, like to the side. If you look at it from the back, you can probably tell. Okay. It still looks kind of straight to me. Yeah. It doesn't look bad, but I get what you're saying. It's kind of to my right, tiny though. Bit. It's not much. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's not terrible.
so now the Skunk 2 exhaust is now officially going in. Hopefully it does clear the bag. It should. I don't see why it wouldn't, but... We'll see. So now you guys can see... Alright, so right now, um, I'm just wrapping the exhaust just in case, just giving it the extra precaution. It aired out, it's not touching. So let's get aired out more. Yeah. Air out. Alright, that's it zeroed out. It actually looks like the exhaust is below it, so that's even better. So it should be good. A little raggedy, don't worry. Paint coming soon. <laughs> Sheesh. Man. Once I get the paint, this car is going to be immaculate. What is good y'all so it's the next day um car's officially bagged i'm gonna do a review on that how i like the car being bagged um it seems like a lot of you guys don't realize or know that my s2000 is bagged i know i gained a lot of new subscribers but you guys gotta turn on that post notification bell make sure you guys click into every video that i post because a lot of my videos are really dope i'm not a real i don't really click bait or anything like that so my titles is kind of one of my downfalls i don't really know what to title things so i just title it as to what it is but um yeah um I'm gonna go get some uh like something to drink from the gas station. I'm on my lunch break. But as you guys know, the exhaust is now installed on the car, which is a skunk 2 70 millimeter uh exhaust. I have the full exhaust. Um so we had to do some modifications to the exhaust so that way I could run my air my airbag on the on the driver's side in the back. Because when you air out or just the bag in general is really really close to the exhaust. So now that I have that mod perfectly has a lot of clearance as you guys see so i'm good um from my review now that i've been driving the car for like a day now i enjoy it but like i said i'm gonna give you guys a better in-depth review uh probably either tomorrow or or over the weekend it's been snowing it's crazy like it snowed crazy yesterday so that's why i didn't get to edit the video that i wanted to do because it was just like no point so uh yeah about to go get some uh gas i'm gonna let you guys hear the little cold start well, it's going to be kind of hard because I'm in the car and then I got to start the car. So we'll just see what we can do, all right? Quick feet check for you guys. Now I mean, you got that A8 on. <laughs> 